Bronx Gothic is about inhabiting the body of a brown girl in a world that privileges whiteness. It's about racism, gender politics. It's not just about these two little black girls in the Bronx. Don't look at nobody. Don't talk to nobody. Don't breathe. I started to think about how am I going to make a performance that could guide my daughter. I wanted a voice screaming out into the wilderness of I am here and this is what's happening to me. I told my boyfriend that it was something, <laughs> something that he's never experienced before and he really didn't believe me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oakley's job is to scare people, just to scare them to kind of wake up. We have been acculturated to watching brown bodies in pain. I'm asking you to see the brown body. I'm going to be falling, hitting a hardwood floor. And hopefully, there is a flood of feeling for a brown body in pain. <sighs> feels so deeply personal. I felt like this little girl again. So love yourself as a brown girl. You really gotta do the work. Hi, baby. You know, dancing is different. There's some pleasure there. <laughs> what you are doing is fantastic, but I don't think that people <laughs> will want to see it by foot. I feel like I'm traveling back to my past. It's chilling, it's strange that the body holds the memory of a place. When I was growing up, the further away you were from whiteness, the more invisible you were. Maybe Franz Gothic creates visibility through the invisible. <laughs>